And so somebody has got to answer for contempt of court on the matter of no Jews being remitted in any region in Guyana for the month of March and the month of February, despite the court order. But here we're having smelly, smelling traveling back for the next five years because she's now a refugee in America, applied for refugee status. I've already written to the consulate to explain what she does, extort money from Guyanese. She will take money from um, people of questionable character. In so, our educators will be returning Monday. We're not sure about Tuesday because the date for the strike, resumption of strike will be announced shortly. The Caesar Allen fucking blue visa, I could only imagine what I'm going to do with she. We've already written to the consulate. And, and cheating is public information. Not the attacks on me. The past attacks on different people. We are president and everybody else. I want to thank you for your resilience. You have done well. And if it means that we have to do it again, I'm sure you will be up to it. This time we will be even more strategic in our approach um, when called upon to do so. For all I know, she went to these islands with fucking paddle boat. And I can tell you, bad women and whores always have to go to French Guyana. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. I hope that the judge will take a very firm stand on this matter because the ruling of the court must stand. The ruling of the court must stand, irrespective of whether you like it or not. And I would want to say to the government that you have an obligation to uphold the laws of this land. And what the judge has asked is that let the status quo remain the same. And so somebody has got to answer for contempt of court on the matter of no Jews being remitted in any region in Guyana for the month of March and the month of February, despite the court order. And I would like that to be recorded that we expect that this matter will be raised by our lawyers at the next hearing. I think we've already notified the judge on this matter that there is a contempt by whomever has made a decision not to remit the Jews and that will be, I'm sure, raised again on Wednesday. Um, the, sixth thing, the fifth thing I want to I want to wish all schools well for the final academic term of the the final term of this academic year. I know as educators, we feel it for our children. We feel it for the children we nurture. We feel it for the homes from which they come. And there is always a soft spot. And I believe governments over the years have capitalized on the soft nature of teachers and educators that they often appeal by saying what about the children why are we so heartless as educators that is the those are the those are the terms they use to cause us to feel as if you know we are not doing enough but our teachers have done significantly well and i'm proud of all the teachers of Bayana. so our educators will be returning Monday. We're not sure about Tuesday because the date for the strike, resumption of strike will be announced shortly. So I know for sure teachers will return tomorrow, but I cannot say about Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Those decisions will be made shortly. Um, the Office of Corps will work to execute the decision of the the general council and all our members will be will be apprised at the appropriate time. And I assure you that our teachers, teachers across Guyana, who have demonstrated so much steel, so much resilience to the dictatorial postures, the threats, all that was thrown at them during the last strike period for those 29 days by the political affiliates and you saw some of them 
on our lives trying to distract us. Those who throw hints in their communities and threaten them about their job. I want to thank you for your resilience. You have done well. And if it means that we have to do it again, I'm sure you will be up to it. This time we will be even more strategic in our approach um, when called upon to do so. So I look forward for your solidarity and your support in this new endeavor. Let me talk a little bit about senior promotion and to let you know that it is this period once there is a normal cycle that the advertisement for senior positions are being done. During the month of March, April, the advertisements along with the criteria and positions that are vacant in schools across Guyana are made public. I am aware, I am aware that steps are being taken by the Teaching Service Commission and the School Board Secretariat and the Ministry of Education to, in the, to work on the criteria and to work on the positions that are vacant and to indicate the role the role the GTU plays in adjusting or rectifying or ensuring that the criteria is set, the criteria is fixed, and the positions that are advertised are the ones that are vacant. We work closely with the Ministry of Education, the Teaching Service Commission, and the school board secretariat to ensure that persons who are promoted meet the criteria and that there is a level of fairness, there is a level of equity and fairness and just application of the criteria for the persons who apply. And so the GTU has always been involved. In you heard it there for yourself. Light is saying, look, somebody is going to face the piper for not making sure that the Jews were handled in the way that the court said it should be handled. But I kind of already saw this coming. I saw this coming down the line because the language, the language that Attorney General Nandalal used, right? when he was speaking about it originally it was kind of lining up with what we're seeing right now because look no jews is being taken out for the guyana teachers union as it was before and the same thing that the government put in place before they went to court and the and the, and the court said that they should reverse and go back to the way that they was doing it which was taking out the Jews, they didn't do it. So, Mark Light is saying, look, somebody is in contempt of court and we're going to find out when we go to court on Wednesday because if they do this, look, look how it's a setup because all the teachers, them who choose, right? The teachers, them who choose to still take out that or choose to put their name down or choose to make a way to give that funds to the union in whatever way they will be singled out somebody is going to get a list and somebody is going to know the members or the persons that's a part of the union and guess what you're now going to be on the side of the union and the side of the strike and let's see what happened with those persons on that list but the good thing is at least allegedly they still didn't take out any money from the teacher's salary for striking we ain't see that yet allegedly but moving forward Mark is saying we got a date coming up, you know, we got a date in mind already planned for this strike. And that's crazy that the teacher's gone back on strike because, oh man, I know Mark, I hear you say just now, I hear you say just now that this is the thing that's always being said. But oh, what is going to be the situation with the youths that got right exam this year, everybody? And we ain't blaming it on you, 
but I just asking the question in general to everybody who listen this video all over the world, wherever you might be right now, and you in Guyana or you in the Guyana diaspora, who you think is going to be the situation for children who write an exam this year? There can be nothing good. And guess what? If you do it already, take some time and hit the like button. Hit the like button. Send this video, thumbs up this video, thumbs up this video and boost it in the algorithm. Thumbs it up and boost it and send it all over the world to everybody in the Guyana diaspora and all the like-minded persons that need to hear content like this. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. We can't play around with this. This guy gets settled right away. The people of Guyana, we got to come down on the government and say, hey, Something got to be done about this immediately. This strike can't go back. It can't be slippers on the ground again with a more strategic plan again for how much longer? How many months? How many months without a fully functional educational system? And the feud continues between Critic and Melly Mel. The feud continues between these two and it's only getting worse because who calling this one on that one and who reporting this one to that one. Look, the situation is getting more crazy and crazy as the day go by and we just keep everybody up to date on it. What's going on right now between two of Guyana top influencer, the critic and Melly Mel. You could imagine how touched she was by you know like me jealous of a man who no know about taking a vacation i've been about i i've been about that life so you're not jealous but you took the time i don't think she's jealous i honestly concur with her that she's not jealous. she's fucking hurting because smelly smell went on to list list of countries i visited some of these countries i visited more than once and i ain't a billionaire list all the caribbean countries but here we have smelly smelling traveling back for the next five years because she's now a refugee in america applied for refugee status. I've already written to the consulate to explain what she does, extort money from Guyanese. She will take money from um, people of questionable character in Guyana to attack people here. You understand? So if they seize all them fucking blue visa, I could only imagine what they're going to do with she. We've already written to the consulate. And, and she thinks it's public information. Not the attacks on me. The past attacks on different people. Their president and everybody else. Because how it does it look? America protecting the people that attacking the people in Guyana who they want for getting the fucking hell. Yeah? Y'all yeah, imagine geopolitics of this. <laughs> y'all yeah, sail it. I like tell y'all. So imagine listing all these Caribbean countries. Unfortunately, she's never been to Europe. She's never been to any other continent. For all I know, she went to these islands with fucking paddle boat. And I can tell you, bad women and whores always have to go to French Guyana. If they had a, ever had a bad woman in Guyana that never went to French Guyana, she's not a bad woman. So best of luck to you. At least you have the record to show. You understand? Now listen, you imagine having to write this, sit down, and remember all the countries you went to, how much put in, in bracket. <laughs> you know, difficult. You, y'all ever see a comment from people, then? You ever see the fucked up comments, right? Because I just got to find courage to write the comment. I can't just comment in on everything and talk to them. No, no, no. I just gotta find courage. I just gotta find time. That's why I just wanna make sure it's so impacting. I tell you something so hurtful. You see, guys, should I tell you to wipe their mother or something? 
So imagine smelly smell. Having to write. No, no, she ain't. She ain't um, jealous. She's not jealous. But she listed. She's never listed the countries where she went to before. And how do we know this list of countries wasn't trying with the intention to get an American visa? Because since she fucking got the American, she stopped traveling. <laughs> Can't be seen nowhere. Only the certain secure circles. A natural way to stay ready, baby. Because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. His government aware of one of his senior police ranks um, on his way back from training in India being pulled in by the FBI in the United States of America? Yes, we, um, we saw that in the media.